Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a really exciting time of my life. I have been living in Wichita, Kansas for the last two and a half years and me and my husband just got orders to head to Yokota, Japan. Woohoo! So exciting. So I just wanted to share a couple of things that would have been nice to know while we were traveling or while we were getting ready for this experience uh, that we didn't really have from anyone else. So, all right, here we go. If you want to grab maybe a pen and paper, that might be useful. So there was a couple of moves that were coming up and the first one was the storage move. We did that about three months before our report date and we just had them take uh, the huge items like the piano and a huge storage metal box thing we had. It was just huge things that we didn't mind going a lot of years without, maybe 10 years. Who knows how long we'll be overseas. Anyways, and then the next move we did about a week later, so that was again three months out before we had to report, and that was for our household goods, and they pretty much wiped out our whole house. Everything you're seeing on the screen right now is what they took pretty much. They took our beds, they took our clothes, everything. And the reason why we did it so advanced is because we heard that the household goods goes by boat, and it usually takes three months to deliver anyway. So we were hoping we would arrive to Yakota and our items would be there. And I could tell you, because we are now at Yakota, that it definitely worked out that way. In fact, our household goods got there about two days. Oh, no, no. Actually, it was about a week. It was about a week before we got there. So it worked out perfect. And then after that, we did the express shipment, which I heard only takes about three weeks to arrive because everything is uh, on an airplane and that's why it doesn't take as long. And so we did that one just exactly three weeks uh, before and it actually arrived around the same time that the household goods did. And something to note with the express shipment is I left my vacuums behind because I didn't well, because I wanted to clean the house, and they were very hesitant to take the vacuum, so that might be something to note. Um, and yeah, just utilize things from your neighbors, like the vacuums. We had blow-up mattresses from our neighbors. Uh, they were just really, really helpful. I also went to this place, which is called the Lone Closet. That is what you're seeing right now. And Man, I'm telling you, the base has some amazing, amazing resources uh, that really help us out <laughs> during this time of transition. So at the loan closet, I was able to get pretty much everything I needed to cook with and to, yes, yeah, so you see plates and bowls and pots and pans and forks, knives, spoons, measuring things. Like, it came with everything that I needed, so I was pretty happy that I didn't have to uh, keep any of my dishes along with me. I would also utilize maybe the library because the library at McConnell, wow, it had some amazing things. It had toys for us to rent out. It had these backpacks that you're seeing on the screen right now that it, they all had different themes in them. So I was able to get one that was age appropriate for my son. And literally a couple of days later and just swap it out. So I got him a bunch of books and then rented out a couple of those backpacks and we were good to go. Another amazing resource was the playroom. I didn't want Elijah to get into the way while uh, the movers are there, you know, have them move as quickly as possible. I brought Elijah here to play group. The base has some really, really neat resources. I mean, when we were in the process of this, I was really tempted to keep Elijah's toys and books, but he was really entertained with what they had. I know, and we got more stuff in here too. <laughs> 
Another great resource is the CDC. Oh man, they provide free hours, at least at McConnell. So while we were moving out, we could have used, I believe it was 20 hours that they could watch Elijah while we were in the process of moving out. And then arriving to the new base here at Yakota, they also provided the same amount of hours to watch Elijah while we were moving in, which I thought was amazing. I wish I would have known right away because we only utilized just a couple of hours on the back end because we had no idea. But now I know that information and it's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Something I wanted to mention that I really want to remember for the next time, and I hope that you'll take this piece of advice, is to take leave on the back end. We took leave about a month before we were going to even move out, and it ended up just being a nightmare. The base was really busy that week. A few people had died and we were running around and it was just, it was a lot to take in. A busy week followed by us having to move out and out process that. It was just a lot. So don't do what we did. Go ahead and take leave on the back end so you could arrive at your new base well rested and ready to go. And maybe you can connect with your future base on Facebook. They can give you tips on things that you might want to know. And also, most importantly, is just have fun. Use these last couple days or weeks to just enjoy your time together as a family. Go explore new things, new places that you didn't get to do while you were stationed there. And just enjoy the ride. Don't be too stressed out. Make some fun memories that you can remember as you're leaving. Take care.